in your research direction, uh, maybe you personally, maybe someone else who would continue that work. What are the most interesting problems as you see them uh, from a kind of scientific standpoint? And w which, if any of them, if any of them, do you see even your future potential? Actually, here you can see there are so many parameters. And most of them are discussed, but there are some which are like the shrinkage coefficient, which is related to the humidity loss. Is there are maybe very few papers or publications related to this. There are but there are definitions of model code that varies a lot with the results from laboratories. Laboratory results. Maybe there will be one separate work for this parameter. And <coughs> I think in in my work, the worst part we have faced, and we spend a lot of time to take to, to consider the parameter for this shrinkage coefficient, which should be should be discussed, and also the curing, as Alan mentioned, the curing uh, depending on the curing uh, agent of factors. Maybe not this would be not as broad work as for shrinkage coefficient. But this is also a parameter that might be separately discussed in a way that it might be applied to this problem. And one more thing that, as I mentioned, that we are considering to do also the lifelong analysis, which is much easier part of the work than we have done, much smaller, but <coughs> I'm not sure if we'll finish this part or not. But this is also maybe the continuation, and they might put all the all lifelong analysis of the concrete in just one model and analyze. Can I ask a question? I believe the representatives of the construction company that initially uh, actually uh, brought up the idea of Rosme going to Spain to study. You, you guys are here, right? It's the same company we're talking about. Uh, how do you take like academic inf knowledge and information like this? How do you process that in your company? What is the what is the way in which companies process this kind of information? Uh, I think that's interesting for us because we want to communicate this to to companies, obviously, eventually. So let, let me ask uh, your question. Uh, we are not only a construction company, but it's also a representative from the engineer that is supervising the work. Uh, unfortunately, from the ministry, no one came today, but they were also invited. Um, uh, as a representative of the construction company, I would say that, for example, the doctorate that uh, was made here, no? Uh, it's inside. Uh, a more global plan that our, our company has an uh, um, agreement with the University of Barcelona in which we exchange information, new technologies, um, researches, investigation, not only in this aspect of concrete payment but in more aspects. So continuously we have um, people in the university in Barcelona which are helping us in the day by day, not specific case like for when there is a problem, for example, developing the job mix formula that is done uh, for the construction of the concrete payment. We have our, let's say, our internal and local staff, which I think we are like with experience enough. We have our, in our headquarters, there are like specific people that are like specialists in this term and external helps from universities. In that case, in this project in Armenia, we have one collaboration with, uh, with the University of Barcelona. So this is a day-by-day -day, uh, communication. Um, I think it's very good because it's not maybe from outside the idea of construction. It's just like to do the work run, to make it like uh, with the less cost and as fast as possible. In reality, it's not like this, or at least we, we are trying not to be like this. Uh, we like the idea of giving opportunity, like, like for him, for Martir Ocean, for exchange this uh, community, because uh, knowledge to bring it back to Armenia, to develop something like this, 
uh, also this technology, this knowledge that is in the universities, to bring it to the side, to uh, form people that will develop continuously in this country or in another. And this we are doing day by day, it's not just a problem that we are trying to, to, to solve in one point. It's a communication and it's a chain of information that is done continuously. So all this info, this maybe is very theoretical for our day by day construction work, your, your research. Uh, but there are other ways in which the university can help us with other kind of models that are like more, can be applied to the construction work. This mainly is for design, I guess, the, 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 the main conclusion that you can get for a model like this. Uh, will we have like more benefits in the design moment of a project in which you can change the inputs, you will have like immediately, let's say, let's say like different scenarios and you can choose which one will be for you. When the design is already made, when there is not too much variable that you can change, other kind of models maybe are more helpful. And this is maybe what we can talk more uh, in, like with more knowledge and with more details, no? But I think this is very interesting uh, uh, work. And I guess very difficult to modelize. Uh, in fact, I would like to, to join this answer with another question to him. Uh, how, do you, how do you think uh, the sensibility of the model uh, should be, I guess, should be very sensible to affecting you know, uh, little some of the variables that are inside the model mm -hmm. should have like changes very dramatic you know, in, the, in the output of yes. the model. Yes. Uh, is this something that you expected before the model that you are trying to calibrate with in the future with laboratory test results or do you think that in some point this it will be like a model difficult to to control no the, the output well if we take the old model total and we compare with one case in laboratory it might be complicated but when you keep some parameters constant and you make a variation of to whether you are say, sensitive analysis so to take into account some factors only, you might see, you might validate with the examples of laboratory, and then add the other variables which are maybe which were validated separately. And in terms of uh, sensitivity, yes, you are right. And we uh, we have seen that maybe temperature is in some cases. I'll show you some graphs. We. We'll See that maybe uh, well not sorry it's not seem very good but this is the effect of the humidity so the relative humidity maybe if it is from 50 to 60 will not or 7 65 maybe will not affect a lot but if it is higher the uh, I speak about the ambient relative humidity if it's higher maybe the uh, <coughs> joint cutting time will be much longer and you can see that. There is an increase, exponential increase, increase in time. And maybe you can see that the cooling time, this, is the, uh, this year you can see the interesting result of the cooling time depending on the, maybe if you do the cooling in one day, on the 1.5, one and a half day, or two days, you can see the curve is like this year, but before I, you may suppose that it should be just linear. Or in this case, this is which was August, and we are expecting to have the last or the shrinkage question, which depends on the composition of the concrete and the amount of the tenant. This was expected to be if we <coughs> increase the shrinkage coefficient to increase more shrinkage, and we should cut before and before. Is there any leverage uh, numbers or just for that uh, moment of the uh, technology implementation? 
For instance, the humidity. Uh -huh. Is it uh, the annual average humidity or the humidity? You can uh, put humidity hour by hour, even minute by minute in the years. But here, here the humidity. Here is constant there. humidity. We put the constant humidity. So, for example, this point was another separate. This point was another separate. So this is made just theoretical data. Yes, yes. But the model is allowing you to change any part of the unit. Yeah, sure. the, the humidity we're talking about is not the ambient humidity, it's the moisture content of the concrete. No, here um, I'm speaking of the relative humidity. Ah, you are? Was. Okay, I sorry, I can read the green bit. I still can't. <laughs> so you're, you're talking about the relative humidity of surrounding the, the concrete. Exactly. Okay, sorry, I'm wrong. No. Concerning the model, it's usually um, for example, let's discuss again the relative humidity. Mm -hmm. um, usually, does this model allow you, for example, to put the relative humidity, humidity as a um, variable? Yes, yes you, it may change during the time, minute by minute, or second by second, or hour by hour. Okay. You are free to choose the time steps and to change to Because I, yeah. Because if not, it will not be very The same is temperature. Okay, so maybe that's uh, enough of a break from your vacation. Uh, Rosemary, thank you very much uh, on behalf of all of us here in the college. And uh, like I said, it's, it's, it gives us a lot of uh, pride to see one of our graduates now kind of exploring in what. Uh, Five years ago, it was a very new direction uh, uh, for you in many ways, although maybe founded upon some of the fundamental uh, analytical tools, uh, some of which uh, overlapped well with your curriculum here. And it's you know it's interesting; these are challenging problems, and they have a big theor theoretical base as well as lots and lots of uh, practical applications. 